Hey guys, it's me Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Yep, I'm doing it again. So I bought myself another storage unit. I actually tried to get two at this place. It's only six minutes from my house and they look like pretty much like they already been went through, kind of like just trash. And so I figured if I did one that was pretty easy, then maybe it would make me more excited to do another one that was a little more, as they say, packed and stacked. I know I could do this all by myself. I knew I could do this all possibly in just one trip. Um, but I came here before I even got the email. I mean, I, I said that I won, but I did not, and I got this for $10, $10. So I came here before I even claimed, like I claimed it, but I haven't got my email yet. And so I just told the guy, I was like, I was like, I've got my email. And then he just brought me to my thing. <laughs> he didn't even take the deposit for the cleaning deposit. <laughs> so I told him I'm filming a video. So I brought my tripod. I brought some gloves. I brought some stuff and I'm going to take you along this journey uh, kind of a little bit better, or, but it's going to be an easy one. It's going to be an easy one. But we'll see. I mean, I I'm excited. I have some other stuff I had to do today, so I'm hoping I can get this all in my car in one trip. We'll see. Let's go. Okay, guys, here we are. This is one of the roll-up ones. Now, remember I said it's going to be kind of like trash, not a really high-quality one. I did see the pictures without, you know, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to show you all the pictures, but iron board, which I don't have an iron board, so I'm like, uh, sure. Now, there's a lot of boxes, lots of things that probably everybody went through. I saw this, I wasn't sure if it was a computer chair or just a part of it. It looks like it's just a part of a chair. But we're gonna go through everything. This will be a quick kind of type video for me to go through. That is a disgusting rug. That is disgusting. This will probably be an easy little thing, but hopefully I can get $10 out of the unit. <laughs> we got some trash, what is that? I don't know what that is, but let's figure it out together. Okay, so I already cleaned up just that little bit of like trash in the front, and obviously we saw this thing for a Galaxy tab. Not in there, so that's trash. Um, I do not know what this is. I'm gonna bring it home and see what Rob knows what it is. It is a dirt devil, but I'm not really quite sure exactly what it does. But I'll ask Rob. And then it seems like we're gonna have a lot of boxes back here, which the boxes I will then, like, there's like, Spider webs on it. And here we got some floss and toothpicks. <laughs> a case for an old phone. A crappy old belt. Yeah, it's like how to stay. Crappy old belt. We got some tums. When did I go back? December 2022. Still good tums. Well, I don't trust somebody else's tums. A can of Dr. Pepper unopened. Don't bust. Another dirty belt. Devil's Claw Plus, I don't know what that is. Um, for horses. Joint support for horses. It also has some horses. This has something in it and no, it doesn't. Sleep aid empty. We got a ruler. I'm keeping the ruler. And this is kind of cute. It's a uh, coaster that says cheers. I'm keeping that. All right, so I'm gonna break, take all this stuff out that can come out. This is a nice, let me pull this out. This is a drawer organizer from Better Home and Gardens. I'm gonna see if I can clean this up. And then maybe this could even be sold. It said it's from Walmart.com. But it possibly could be cleaned up and then used at the flea market to hold things, or I could actually just like sell it at the flea market. So now we have that trash out of the way. Wait, let's just look at this box too. This is a disgusting, disgusting rug. Not even messing with that. Now we got this pot right here. This isn't a bad pot. If I clean this up, I might be able to sell that too. And the goal is I already paid, I only paid ten dollars for this unit, so ten dollars. And then we got this right here. This isn't bad either. Once it's cleaned up, this will be a nice little dish. I'm gonna try to clean that, so I'm gonna take that too. Now I'm gonna break apart these boxes, break them all down, and we'll move on to another section. Worst come to worst, guys, this is a little bit of a good workout for me on a Monday. That's what I thought about it. Like ten dollars for a workout. I mean, you can't beat that. So here's another section. These disgusting slippers. <laughs> Those are in the trash. I mean, obviously the person came here and took all the things they wanted. This probably was a full unit, but when they knew they were weren't going to pay the bill, they decided to just, you know, leave whatever the crap they didn't want. So we got these right here, size 12, but they've had their day too. I only brought three trash bags. Here's the at t old crusty hat. Now, unlike normal, when you watch Star Wars and they literally, you know, look in, they find like five things and then they're like, Bye, and they just leave and people go pick all the stuff up for them. This is all on me. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could ask a friend who's also off, also off on a Monday, but I wouldn't do that. This is a very old mouse thing for your computer. 
very old and worn out. I mean, the place is only six minutes right now, so if I have to go home and come back, I can go home and come back. Okay. Here's some of these. I mean, unless you have the thingy to go with it, this is a Dell. These are probably old and out of date. So I'm not going to take them home. For rather test out. And inside, and inside another one of these things is a whole bunch more pots and pans with legit, like, mice poop in there. I don't think I'm going to keep these. These are kind of like just basic, basic things. And they all have tops to go with them too. I'm still here, guys. Then this right here, which I guess is it can hook on something and put it somewhere something in it. I don't know, is that worth keeping? Maybe. Put that in the box. And then, moving over here, we have another big box. I'm hoping I don't find any mice or rats or anything. It's a very gross lampshade, trash, and then everything else in here. I think I'm just going to show you guys, instead of picking through what each item, I'm just going to show you. So here's everything in this box. I'm not quite sure what that is. Engine degreaser. Another hat, top. A uh, opened <laughs> iron. So nothing really of like value or anything that I actually want in here. I might just throw this box away as is and keep it as the throwaway box now. And like I showed you before, this is the ironing board which I am going to keep. I'm just gonna wash this thing on the outside. And then there's this nice little frame picture back here. Looks in good position of the world. Then a mop, which will go to the trash. This obviously is another... I mean, I possibly could even clean this up and use it at the flea market to put things in different levels that are small. That's an idea. Then this thing, which I don't know what that is. It's full. It's this, ooh, a skinny snake. So it's a snake. That could probably sell too. A snake for like toilets or deep down certain things. Yeah. And then this, which I actually thought was pretty cute. It's a medicine cabinet. <laughs> if it's cleaned up real nice, probably could sell that. I think. And then I'm guessing this is a mirror. Yeah, this is just one of those basic mirrors. All right, so I might just start maybe probably put some stuff in the car then we will just have this corner over here to deal with so I'm gonna do that right now now this storage unit remember I talked smack about the other one how it said it was uh, like air conditioning like climate controlled and I was like oh man no it's not this one is not climate controlled <laughs> this one I'm dying <laughs> straight dying so without further ado let's figure out if this is just a sofa seat it is just it is just the top of the sofa. That's all it is, is the top of a sofa. <laughs> One piece on the top of the sofa. What happened to the rest of the sofa? This should fit fine in my back seat. It's looking pretty good so far. This, that was the only thing that I was really, like, worried, worried about. And then, I'm just gonna get on my knees. We have an HP computer. I don't know, I possibly to bring this to Rob. But I don't know. He said that usually these computers and this stuff in these units are all so outdated that it's kind of pointless to even try to sell them. So I might bring it home for him to look at, but then he'll probably tell me to just throw it away. And what we got over here? It's the bag. A big burlap bag. Trash. And we got some laundry. I'm really hoping I don't feel any bugs. We got a towel. Like, usually with clothes, you don't keep any of this stuff because you don't know what's going on. Like a doily and a few more rags. This all right here is trash. Some receipts, trash. More rags. Another thing. Now we knew this stuff was gonna be crap. I knew. This is a Cuisinart coffee bar coffee grinder with no top. And we got this plushie that's seen better days. That's heavy, whatever it is. And then we got a toaster, toaster, but it's pretty grimy inside right there. Some more little stuffed animals. Looks like they were probably for a dog because they're all ripped up and torn up. 
Oh, it's a picture. I should bring that to the front when I check out so I can have it. Um, I see a spider right there. <laughs> so I'm gonna get up. Oh, here's the top of the coffee grinder. I guess maybe I can test it out, but I don't know if I want to clean that up and spend that time doing that. Only thing left in here is some spiders and a uh, mat. And then inside here, it looks like all coffee mugs. I am, can you see the sweat? I am sweating. We got Las Vegas. We got Down Under. I mean, coffee mugs can sell. Steak Ranch. So I might go through these and see which ones I want to keep. This one has a chip on it, so for sure not this one. How to make vegetable soup. It is now dripped all the way to my nose. It is a hot one today, guys. Good thing it's not barely. And then split pea soup. So I might clean some of these off and put them up there for maybe like a dollar at the flea market. This bag is pretty gross, so I won't keep that. Oh, I did bring a rag. I did bring a rag to clean things off if I needed to. But right now, it's going to be for me. Whew. Okay, so really there's not much left. And after that, I can head back to my dumpster. This right here is a box. Oh, so many spider webs. Just miscellaneous crap. Just miscellaneous crap in there. Also another box. With more miscellaneous crap. And then in the very corner, we have a cop gun. I have spider webs on me. A cop gun, a bucket, also filled with more spider webs, sawdust. Not for my shit. I guess now it's time to figure out if I'm gonna need one load, two loads. I would like to do it one load, that would make me super happy. And then once I do all that and take all the stuff to the dumpster, probably not today, but in a day or two, I'm gonna clean everything up and then show you kind of what I think I'm gonna keep or sell or some of the things I was wondering what they were that Rob can help me with. So yeah, it's hot. It is hot. Whew. See you soon. In case you're wondering, this is like my dumpster. And then this is the thing that's outside. This is what I was talking about, about putting stuff in my dumpster. They have a whole storage area that they come in, well not storage, trash area they come and clean up. And I just found these two chairs, which I'm gonna clean up and take with me. All right guys, so here's what's left after my first trip. My trash bag, my gloves, my broom. <laughs> stuff I'm keeping, trash. So now it's all straight into the car, one last round to the trash, and then I gotta go and sign my bill and everything. And here we go guys, all clean, swept up, all done. Time to go pay my, or actually I already paid my bill. Try to go sign the papers and then take all this stuff home. Hey guys, as you can tell, it's the same day. I'm just like my father, like I have to finish something if I start it. So I finished everything. I was going to film another video today, but as you can see, the sweat was ridiculous. I've never sweated that much in, I couldn't even tell you, like pouring down my face, pouring everywhere, but it was fun. I kind of feel like that was a more reasonable size locker. I probably could have fit it all on one trip, but I did do two trips just to make it easier for me. And even though it was, it was hot because it was, it was inside a place, I mean outside, it still was reasonable. And now I'm going to show you the things that I kept. I did keep this ruler because I don't have a ruler. Like a ruler that's like this long. So I kept the ruler. That's for me. Then I found this in here which I did clean up. I don't have one of these. We also don't have a saw or anything like that. It was a little dirty, but as you can tell, I cleaned it up really good. You can't even tell this even been used. It even still has the UPC code on it. So I'll probably put this in the flea market for like a dollar. Then I did take the snake thing. I have no clue how much this is. I might have to look it up. Um, I'm pretty sure it works, but I'm going to have Rob make sure that it works first before I actually put it out. So that'll probably go to flea market. Um, then I actually did clean this because it worked. So I took it home with me, cleaned it up. It was disgusting. Like all this stuff was absolutely disgusting. It has been an hour and a half. I think I've been cleaning. So I did keep this. It works. The only part that was a little kind of whatever is the cord has that yellowing, which I tried to clean it all up and a little bit in here. But it still does work. I would probably sell it for a dollar. You know, I spent ten dollars on this locker, as they say on the storage units or storage unit or whatever. Um, 
I cleaned this up, put a little uh, polish on it. I just think it's cute. I think I'm gonna keep it for myself. Myself. And then this I cleaned up too. This is the only one that was kind of like cute and I thought maybe I could sell. And I'll probably sell it for a dollar. So maybe like some split pea soup. This thing was pretty disgusting. <laughs> but as you can tell, I cleaned it up really, really nice. Put some polish on it. It even still has the UPC at the bottom. There was, I forgot where it was. Back here, there's a little piece coming off, but I super glued it back on. Now I will probably try to sell this. I'll probably put it for like one or two dollars. Um, or put stuff in it. Even people smell it, it smells like, like, you know, polish, like brand new. And then I kept the bucket. Cause even though it was, I mean, it was disgusting. It's how there was like sawdust and there was like, I don't know, plaster or something. It still has a tag on it. And I think I'm gonna keep it. Cause now we just got a bigger take for Hannah, uh, the goldfish from the fair. And I'm gonna get one of those suction things. So I'm probably gonna use this to put the fish water in so I can carry it into the kitchen. I spent a little time cleaning this up. I might do another round because I realized doing this that my hose is broken. I have one of those as seen on TV, like the ones that are like squiggle together and it just busted out. Like I was in the middle of doing this and all of a sudden it just busted out everywhere. And then I had to do the chairs outside that I got from the dumpster. Oh, those chairs from the dumpster was funny. When I pulled them out, this guy was walking up I saw earlier and he was like, and I was like, oh, look, I got some chairs. And he goes, I just threw those away. <laughs> and I was like, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Thank you. <laughs> But they're looking good they're perfectly fine so this right here i cleaned up this could be something to sell because it has hooks where you're supposed to like hang it up somewhere or it could be something where i use it at the flea market to put little items so i can have them stacked not quite sure yet but that is that i still don't know what this is hooks on something i just hit myself in the face i am beat <laughs> um but i'll probably put it up there for a dollar now this right here i kept it was I had to wash it, magic erase it. Now it's corningware, which I saw it at Walmart. It has a it has a top with it, brand new, is sixteen ninety nine. So it does have scuffs. I don't know if you can tell. Let me find some good ones. But I mean, I cleaned the best I could, and it still has like scuffs on the ceramic. So I'm not sure. I mean, I almost was tempted to keep this, but I have a ton of stuff like this. So how many do I actually need? So this could also be something I use to put stuff in at the flea market, or I might put it up there for a dollar. And then for the most disgusting one, <laughs> this right here. This took me a long time. All those little nooks, all the crannies in, in between over here, it was bad. Halfway through, I was like, is this even worth it? Because I, I didn't want it for myself. Now, the brand of this is Preferred Stock Cookware, stainless steel, made in Korea. But I figured maybe I could pop a $2, $3 tag on that. Okay. Now, turn this out. This is a... Uh, I didn't do anything with it because I don't know anything about it. This is a steam cleaner. I don't know if it's supposed to have, I might look it up afterwards. It's the Royals, the brand, even though in the front it said Dirt Devil. Dirt Devil. So I'm gonna have Rob check that out for me and I might do a little research or look it up on like YouTube, see if it's somebody using it, see if I have all the pieces or if it's not. So I didn't clean that yet because I was like, you know what, I'm not cleaning something that I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep or use or have anything to do with. Now, this one right here, the final item, Ugh, the medicine cabinet. I will tell you the back had these big screws out of it. Four screws, which I did not realize when I put it in the trunk right on top of the, of the iron, it ripped to shreds the top of the iron. So I was like, you know what, forget it. So I just got rid of it. And here, all cleaned up. Isn't that nice? And inside, it almost seems like this door is different. But it opens up all the way. I cleaned the whole inside and I stuck the screws that came out in the bottom so that if somebody wants to hang it again, they just go through these holes right here. And it has that smell of polish too. I think I did a pretty good job. It was disgusting too. I mean, that mirror, woof. That took me like four times to clean it. <laughs> oh. Will I do it again? Probably, you know me. <laughs> but I think I would stick to reasonably ones like this. Like, I'm thankful that I didn't get the other one because I would have had to do two today. That might have been a little bit of a ridiculousness, but I'm glad it's done. And it's like, today's Monday, on Monday. So it's like I have a video coming out in like an hour. <laughs> so I'm going to try to edit this video. Now, I guess I'm beat. <laughs> but 
But I can't wait to Rob, to Rob gets home. I can show him all my finds and all the things I got. It's better than I thought. I literally thought I was going to get this cabinet. And I thought that thing in the back was a um, computer chair. Negative. Good thing it wasn't because I couldn't even fit it in my back seat. I had to put it in the trunk and reorganize everything. Because it's so like big and long. But I think I did pretty good. I can think of it as a workout. I did more work and sweated more today than I've done in quite some time. So I probably needed it. Good for the cardiovascular health. Good for all around body goodness. <laughs> so, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed, I kind of want you to. Hashtag road to 100K, maybe this year. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.